Thank you for purchasing IMS Map 360. IMS Map 360 is part of the Leica Geosystems Incident Mapping Suite, and it provides an easy way to create field to finish deliverables from multiple sensors at every level of technology adoption. So, we're going to give you a quick overview here of some of the features in the program and help you get familiar with it. Start up the program by clicking the shortcut that was installed. And when it starts, you'll see the welcome screen. On here, you can choose what the defaults are for the user mode that you're going to start up with and some other options. You can create a new scene or open a scene. And I'm going to open an existing one here of some microsurvey Evans recorder data. The interface in IMS Map 360 is a ribbon and you've got four options on that ribbon. On the Home tab, you'll find Display Options. Import Export is where you would import or export data into or out of the program. The Draw tab has all the drawing functionality. And the Analysis tab is where you can do some dimensioning and query objects, look at your uh, evidence log, do some trajectory cone or bullet path reconstruction uh, uh, functions. This little blue icon here in the bottom corner, this is your workspaces. You can use sketch mode, which you'll use most of the time, or you can switch to an advanced mode, which will load a command line and more advanced functions on the ribbon, and you'll see there's a lot more options available to you now. And then if you really want to, you can even load the old map scenes interface and you can switch back and forth between these at any time. If we go to the draw tab, I want to turn off some of these layers in my drawing. I'm just going to pull down the, the list here and I'm going to click on these icons right here to turn them to snowflakes. And What that'll do is it just turns off the text. I could do this with a multiple, uh, like selecting multiple layers at the same time if I needed to using the layer manager, but for now I'm just going to do it individually. I want to place a symbol in here and I'm just going to use a recent one here that I inserted and I'm going to place that roughly in this location here. I don't need that outline anymore, so I'm just going to turn that off. And I'm just going to turn that layer off as well. Resupport symbols from the Google 3D Warehouse. So I'm going to insert a symbol here that I had downloaded. These symbols are provided free of charge, and, and for the most part, most of the symbols will come in at scale, but some of them won't. And so I just want to show you how you can quickly scale and rotate and align this to some existing evidence points. On the Draw tab, just use the Align command, select your symbol. I'm going to roughly pick where the axle location is. So I'm going to do that again. turn off uh, endpoint here and just do that one more time. Select symbol. I want to go from here to there. I want to roughly pick the back, put it to that evidence point there, and then I'm going to scale it, and you'll see here it'll snap precisely to those points that I picked. I'm going to insert a scale bar in here as well, because I know this is going to be roughly at a 1 to 20 scale. I'm just going to place that there for now. Any of these cadences you see in the drawing, you can snap to them. So these are your snaps here. So that's a point snap. I just turn on the endpoint snap. If I wanted to maybe connect these lines here and I want to put them on this layer, I can just select the layer, turn the line command on, and just snap precisely to those points, just like that. If you click on the line, these little blue markers are called grips. 
that lets you extend or shrink the line if you if you need to. You can move the line out, you can delete it, you can rotate it, move it if you need to, make a copy very easily just by using grips. Now let's look at the finished drawing wizard. When you click on here we have some predefined templates that ship with the program but you can certainly create your own templates and inside these templates there's viewports and when you double click inside of a viewport you can control what you want to see for this wireframe here for uh, that symbol I want to make that look more realistic so I'm just going to set it to a realistic mode and you'll see that's shaded now my scale bar here I can move that to the side and then just double click to the outside to close that viewport and double click in this viewport you can double middle click your mouse to do a zoom extends or on the home tab just use the zoom extends button in this case I'm just going to zoom in on the vehicle here and I'm going to shade that if you want to set your viewports to a specific scale just go to um, the draw tab layouts and just use the scale viewport pick your viewport edge it'll tell you roughly what scale you're at I want it to be an even 1 to 20 scale so now this scale port is precisely scaled to 1 to 20 you can repeat that command and just pick your other viewport and I'm going to set that to 1 to 10 you can zoom in here double click your text set it to 1 to 10 you can place that wherever you need it to be and any of this text here can be edited easily you can also place images directly in here do uh, do some dimensioning if you need to um, usually you'll do the dimensioning from this view here you just go to the analysis tab and it's quite quite simple just I'm going to use an align dimension and maybe you wanted to dimension the length of this line and you just do it that easily and whatever your current layer is the layer the dimension will go on if you switch back to your viewport you'll see there's your layer and the dimension you've just added if you want to import a point cloud I'm just going to show you how to do that quickly I'm just going to start a new scene quite simple let's go to the import menu I'm going to import a point cloud uh, that's in a cyclone database sorry I want to import this one here I want it to be in feet. And when you do that, you'll see there's your point cloud. All of these point cloud points, again, you can just go to the draw menu. You can digitize or draw right on top of that point cloud. When you go to your, your scene wizard or your drawing wizard, you can zoom in there too and have your point cloud immediately visible within your viewport. And that's the general overview of IMS Map 360. Thank you for using it and please watch some of the other training movies to learn how to use the other features in the program.